up against Pearly Tan and Tina Muralitharan of Malaysia. Her first semi-final at Super 500 or above for the Malaysian pair. And when we look at the women's doubles draw from the quarter-final stage, you can see that all four, uh, or three of the four uh, quarter-finals uh, went the full distance. And at semi-final stage, three seeds, two Japanese pairs. In fact, at quarter-final stage, you can see that only four different nationalities, which makes it the least diverse of all five disciplines here at the Thailand Open. Six seeds throw in the quarter-final stage. I'm guessing the big surprise was the two-time and reigning world champions Chen Ching Cheng and Jai Fan lost in the quarter-final to the pair we're about to watch, the All England champions, Matsuyama and Shida. Toyota Gazoo Racing Thailand Open 2022, part of the HSBC BWF World Tour Super 500 semi-finals. Women's double semi-final. Nami Masuyama and Chiharu Shida from Japan. Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida, the All England champions. Making their way onto centre stage. We already know that the two-time former world champions Matsumoto and Nagahara are through to the final in their first individual tournament of the year. So it could possibly be an all-Japanese final. What a moment for them. Her first semi-final at a Super 500 or above World Tour tournament. Third Thailand Open. They played the two Thailand Opens in January last year. They reached the quarter-final of both. They were quarter-finalists at the All England Championships and also at the Babington Asia Championships in Manila. Uh, just a, a little more than a couple of weeks ago. But this is a huge moment for the young Malaysians. Well, this will be a fifth meeting, I can tell you, between these two pairs. And all four previous encounters have been won by the All England champions, the Japanese pair of Matsuyama and Shida. Oh, Last time they met was black. in the quarterfinal of the Indonesian black. Masters in Bali last year. 14 and it's 15 out. in 40 minutes. Serve, who serves? Tina, who receives? Shida, have a good match. <laughs> so our umpire for this one, Bert van Horenbeck from Belgium on the service judge is from Thailand. Well, as far as Nomi Matsuyama is concerned, she'll turn 24 next month. I'm born in uh, Fukuoka Prefecture on the island of Kushu, the most southern of the four main islands. Currently playing off their career high of seven. It's their 25th consecutive week as world number seven. So this is their first Thailand Open. Chiharu Shida is 25 years of age from Akita. 
on the northeast coast of Hongshu. When they reached the final of the All England and then won the All England Championships, it was their fourth final in six tournaments played. And looking at their path through to today's semi-final, well, there's been a bit tough path because in the first round against a pair promoted from the qualifying, but two fine players, Du Huer and Li Wen Mei, three games there. Uh, two games against Yong and Kim from Korea, played very well in that match, and I uh, watched the match against the reigning and two-time world champions yesterday, Ching Ching Cheng and Zha Yi Fan. Again, that was f uh, three games. So to Pearlie Tan, who's uh, 22 years of age uh, from Kida, and uh, they went up on the world rankings this week to their career high of number 10. So their first week at number 10. Winners of the Swiss 300 event last year, as we look at Tina murad 24 years of age from Salango. And uh, she has a good background in singles because she was the 2017 National Women's Singles Champion. All of their matches, as you can see, in two straight games, including the quarterfinal against the number four seeds and three times World Championship silver medalists, Fukushima and Hirota. Came from 17-19 down in the opening game before winning it 24-22. Rather more comfortable in the second game to 12. Gentlemen, on my right, Nami Matsuyama and Shiharu Shida, Japan. <laughs> and on my left, Pearlie Tan and Tina Muralitaran, Malaysia. <laughs> Tina Muralitaran, to serve to Shiharu Shida, Lovo, Play. So Tina Moralitharan for Malaysia will be the first to serve in this women's double semi final. Oh. So the Japanese All England champions, having won all four previous encounters between these two pairs, uh, must start as overwhelming favourites for this. in these very, very early stages in. and looking at that again I think they're probably right not sure I'd risk a challenge uh, after just one point in the semi-final uh, she was so sure it was out Correction. good challenge um, too long late Lovely skills, says Pearly Town. Good deception on her overhead shots. Three low. Wide and long. Reserve one three.
the rally. Oh, I'll go. Yeah, total confusion between the two Malaysian players. That's clever. Oh, goodness me, that was close to the back line. Ah, that was lovely skill at the front of the court from Muralitharan. Three. Look at four. that. Beautiful. It was the backhand cross court net shot that did the damage. Oh. Lucky net forward for Shida. Five, three. Oh, goodness me. So this era from Matsuyama. thought the shuttle hit the ground I'm not sure it did incredible retrieving let's have a look no no she managed to get it yep that's a wonderful shot amazing Seven, four. Yeah, good return of serve from Tina. Five, seven. She's a delightful character, is this lady. A, a good chat with her earlier this week. Five. Yeah, good interception. Reserva. Six, eight. Well, no pair from Malaysia has ever won the women's doubles title here at the Thailand Seven, Open. Eight. Uh, there have been two pairs in the final. The last was 14 years ago. Chinny Wee and Wong Pei Ti. Oh, into the lead. Oh. I beg your pardon, it's eight all. I'm getting ahead of myself.
Matsuyama. Oh, I don't believe it. That's a second net court in favor of the Japanese Ten, pair. Eight. What a shot. Good rally. Brilliant. Wow, they've got a huge amount of talent, Over this young round. Malaysian pair. Nine, ten. And I, for one, am very excited to see how they develop in the next couple of years. So it is a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval in favour of the All England champions, Matsuyama and Shida. Hoon Tian Hao, Malaysian coach, and coach Nakashima for Japan. Oh, that was a nice idea. Well, nine. Look at the skill on the return of serve there from Pearly Tan. Oh, great defence for Matsuyama. Absolutely stepped into that one. Whipped it across court, followed forward to the net. Take a look at this. Brilliant. Look how she's going forward to the net. And Tina Muralitharan actually got to that. And the Japanese players were queuing up at the net to take the next one. Lift is long. That's the drift coming into play. There we go, but 10, 13. see the strapping on her left leg there, left knee. Mm. Not 
quite sure what she was attempting there. 14, 11. Best of serves. Got away with it. What a beautiful drop. Now force the error. It's going wide. And I wonder, is this the decisive move 16, in this opening game in favor of Matsuyama and Shida? Five point advantage now. Oh, they've both made a service error now, 16. the Japanese players. Oh, oh my goodness. It's catching. Defense from Muro Letheran. at the moment, the Japanese pair. 19, 13. Oh. Game point opportunities, seven of them. 20, game point, 13. It's going wide. Out. So will it be third time lucky? Third game point opportunity. No. 
Amazing. 17, 20. Four game points have come and gone. Only another three m remain. Oh, that's well wide. Yes. This time. On their fifth game point game opportunity, 21-17 in favour of the All England champions, Matsuyama and Shida. Eighteen minutes for the opening game. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Hey. Second game. Low ball. Play. So the umpire calls for the start of the second game. All England champions Matsuyama and Shida having taken the opening game 21 17. The Malaysian pair are now hitting with the drift, which I think for doubles, and perhaps more importantly in women's doubles, should help the attacking play of the young Malaysians.
Oh, well taken. Yeah. She was ready to pounce with Shida. And Pearly Tan has Five, got to be taking two. it even higher than that if she wants to take on Shida at the front of the court. As I was saying earlier, it's possible we will have an all-Japanese women's doubles final tomorrow. If that happens, it will be the tenth time that we've had a same nation final in the women's doubles final of uh, the Thailand Open. Uh, but, interestingly, it will be the first time that it will be two Japanese pairs should they win this semi-final. Had seven times we've had all Chinese finals, one all Korean final in the women's doubles here, and one all English final. And that was the very first Thailand Open back in 1984. 7-3. Yeah, that's a very good placement of the there's smash there's towards there's the right hip of Matsuyama, and she was eight. committed to the backhand defense. So hitting towards the right hip often produces uh, an error. Because you can't really have any backswing of the racket. them on several occasions and as I was saying earlier I think they've got an awful lot of potential and I when I've seen them in the past I've been impressed on their fighting spirit but I think they need to work on how to actually win the rallies so they need to work out some set plays they 
here we are. Oh, now you see that's a lovely smash. Well, good very placement very of the smash can involve the front court player, or it can be an outright winner like that. And once again, it's across the body towards the forehand defence of Matsuyama. And she is struggling with that. She needs to stop being quite so committed to the backhand defence, I think, Matsuyama. going to say I think that her a defense certainly on that cross one that I've just been talking Arizona. about is perhaps one of her Ten. very few weaknesses Seven. because I think that Nami Matsuyama is the most creative of the two Japanese players and I think she's the one that can really make a difference in the rally Yeah. That time, very decisive in their attacking Zero play, the Malaysians. Eight, ten. And you see that? That defence initially from Matsuyama, the drive defence was really good. Then she moves forward. Nine, I know she missed with the final ten. shot, but look how creative it is. Had that not been deflected by the net cord, it would have been an outright winner. Uh, the push into the net from Tina Muralitharan means that it is the All England champions who have a two point advantage at the mid game interval here in the second game. Uh, we're seeing some excellent rallies in this match. Both pairs vying for the attacking play, and that always makes for interesting women's doubles. Eleven nine. Late. Yeah. Well, that's definitely their favoured formation. Having Tino Mora Litheran at the front of the courts and Pearly Tan from the back. So both players can play from both positions. Just long. Back level. It was uh, a wonderful retrieval shot from well, Pearly Tan. Did well to reach that. But then Matsuyama moving back from the net position. 
to take that. She did well as well. goes down as a missed opportunity. She knows it. Look, the lift is short. Look where her feet are. Look at her reaction. There's the frustration. drop. Look at the athletic jump there from Pearly Tan. Oh! Well, I said she was creative on her defensive play. Nami Matsuyama. The interception. There's the drive defense and she created her own luck of the net cord by the fact that she took the defensive shot early, drove it back. But I have to say, the Japanese pair have been extremely lucky with their neck cords today, so far. Have we seen Matsuyama step into a defensive shot 15, on her way forward? Look, she's stepping in already. This is what I mean, and this is what I was talking about earlier, about being creative. She's the creative player in the partnership. Oh, good retrieving. Four straight points Six, for a four-point well. advantage. having a purple patch at the moment. 17, Five straight points to Matsuyama and Shida. serve yeah well they got it through on their third attempt the Malaysians 13 17 
Service, service fault, fault call to high. high. Service over 14 18. That's a lovely shot from Pearly Town. I do like that. Quick thinking. 15, 18. Yeah, it was exactly the right place to play it. Sheeda was looking to cover the back of the court, and yet her partner was backing out from the net. Defensive work from Pearly Tan and Tina Muralitharan. 16, 18. Absolutely terrific. Oh, I said they had good defences. Absolutely demonstrated in that rally. And as I said earlier, I want to see them work on their attacking play. The Malaysians. Nice. Well, there's a challenge here from the Malaysians. I'm not sure they'll win that challenge. Here we go. Yeah, clearly. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 1916. Two Eight. points away from their second final of the year after the All England Championships for Matsuyama and Shida. Good serve. Yes, the drive defence that I like so much. Last chance saloon, I think, for the Malaysians. 17, 19. This time from Shida. And that Service brings over. up match point opportunities. 20, match point 17. Three of them, to be precise. Yeah, I wouldn't smash on Matsuyama at the moment. She's been defending brilliantly. Good rally. Yeah. And on their first time of asking, Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida close out this semi final against the young Malaysian. Symmetry in the scoreline. 21-17, 21-17. 42 minutes match, for by that Nami match. Matsuyama, Shiharu Shida, 21-17, 21-17. Well, they were, I think, more creative and more 
penetrating in their attacking play. Japanese pair. That's, uh, what a tournament the Malaysians have had. Their first ever semi-final at a 500 or above level. For confirmation of the scoreline, 21-17, 21-17 in 42 minutes. So welcome back to semi-finals day here at the Thailand Open. And that women's doubles, only the second match in the six we've seen so far that's been done and dusted in two straight games. All the others.